a look at this cars doing donuts on New Year's Eve. This all happened in multiple locations. Thanks for joining us here at six o'clock. I'm Craig McKee. Tanya has the night off. WCPO 9 News reporter Andrew Rowan is at the banks right now. Andrew, it happened there as people were leaving for the night. As they were crossing the street, Craig, it happened here in the intersection in front of Yard House. You can actually still see the tire marks in the intersection. It's one of many examples we have to show you that kicked off 2024. New Year's Day, 1.30 a.m. on 2nd Street. Some of the kids were blocking the street. They, I think at one point they had a scooter trying to keep cars from going the through the intersection. It's the same spot cars did donuts back in October. When I turned right on Marion Spence, the cars had actually come around the block and began to do it again. Someone in the crosswalk jumping back, the person hanging out of the window, throwing both hands in the air. And at that point in time, I just decided to drive through the intersection, get around as safely as possible. Earlier in Reading. Okay, what's going on at Galbraith in Reading? They're spinning out in the middle of the intersection. Police say an officer arrived to the scene in two minutes. Okay, we got cops here now. But cars left as the officer called for backup. No arrests were made. <laughs> And once again on Hopple Street in Camp Washington. Cars doing donuts in plain view of police for more than 90 seconds before they sped away. CPD didn't return our request for comment. These takeovers make a total of 17 different locations since October. We need help from our state legislators to make sure that the penalties for this type of reckless behavior is emphasized. House Bill 56 increases the penalties for these stunts. It passed the State House in December, but has yet to pass the Senate. It doesn't mean that the police should not intervene, but they have to also take into account the reckless nature of the people in the behavior and the other innocent citizens. A new year with police still trying to pump the brakes on these takeovers. Now, as far as we know, since October, only one person has been arrested in any of these street takeovers. A 19-year-old who in court, his lawyer said he wasn't actually doing the donuts, he was only blocking traffic. Live at the banks, Andrew Rowan, WCPO 9 News.